grace. Yan. <clears throat> um, today po, um, we'll be jumping po yung ating uh, series uh, to the last chapter of the book of Proverbs since that we are studying or having a series dito po sa Proverbs. But I feel that it's only fitting for us uh, as we honor the mothers in our means and even the grandmothers uh, to, for us to uh, jump po, mga kapatid, as ito pong pra chapter na to truly uh, discuss about what, what is mother being about or all being about, mga kapatid. So, Kindly open your Bibles with me in Proverbs 31. We'll be reading verse 10 and then we'll jump to verses 28 through, through 31. Proverbs 31, verse 10, and then we'll jump to verse 28 and we'll read up to the last verse. It says here in English Standard Version, An excellent wife... Who can find? She is far more precious than jewels. Let's jump to verse 28. Her children rise up and call her blessed or blessed. Her husband also, he praises her. Many women have done excellently, but you surpass them all. Charm is deceitful. And beauty is vain. But a woman who fears the Lord is to be praised. Give her of the fruit of her hands. And let her works praise her in the gates. Let us pray. We continually worship you, our Lord. Our unending praise and thanks, Lord God, is only be upon you, Lord. For you alone deserves all these things. Holy Spirit, may you give us hearts that truly hunger and thirst for your words, O oh Lord. Speak to us. Give us eyes that can see and ears that can hear. Bless us, O Lord, by the truths of your words. Transform us continually according to these truths. Thank you so much, Holy Spirit. Speak to us. In your most personal way. May the words of my mouth and the meditation of my heart be acceptable to you. My God, my rock and my redeemer. Lord Jesus Christ, take your place. This is our prayer in your name. Latu tay magsabi ng. Amen. Meron po ako nabasa, mga kapatid, na isang story about a mother's arms. Meron po isang teenager, ayaw na ayaw niya po makita in public with her mother. Because yung mother's arms niya were terribly disfigured. One day, when her mother took her shopping, sinama po siya, nag-shopping, reached out her hand, during po doon sa cart, alam na pa po natin yun, pag nandun na po tayo sa, sa counter, yung mother niya, nilabas yung kamay, nilalagay na po yung pinamili doon sa counter. And while she was doing, she was doing that, nakita po nung clerk yung kamay ng nanay niya. And yung clerk looked Terrified. Takot siya. Later, yung anak na babae, 
umiiyak. Umiiyak siya and she felt so embarrassed. Embarrassed siya dahil nakita nung clerk yung itsura ng mga kamay at arms ng kanyang nanay. And understandably hurt, the mother waited an hour before going to her daughter's room to tell her for the first time what happened. Nung pagpasok po ng nanay, doon sa kwarto ng kanyang anak na babae, umupo po siya sa tabi niya at sinabi niya, Anak, gusto mo bang malaman kung anong nangyari sa kamay ng nanay mo? You see, Nak, when you were a baby, I woke up to a burning house. Your room was an inferno. Flames were everywhere. I could have gotten out the front door. Pwede na ako lumabas. But I decided I'd rather die with you than leave you to die alone. Sabi ng nanay. I can, I, I run through the fire, takbo ko sa fire, ang ginawa ko, nirap kita sa arms ko, then I went back through the flames and my arms was on fire. When I got you outside of the lawn, the pain was agonizing. Grabe ang sakit, anak, sabi niya. But when I look at you no nakita kita, all I can do was rejoice that the flames hadn't touched you. Stunned, the girl looked at her mother through new eyes, weeping in shame. And gratitude. She kissed her mother's marred hands and told her, I'm sorry, Mom. I love you so much. Alam niyo po, ang isa pong maging nanay, it's a noble career. Sa mga nanay po, amen po ba? It's a noble career. Kaya po, gustong gusto ko po yung nabasa ko ito. And I'd like to share this with you. Sabi dito no author, There is no career more no noble than that of motherhood at its best. There are no possibilities greater and in, no, in, in no other sphere does failure bring more serious penalties. To attempt this task unprepared and untrained is tragic. And its results affect generations to come. On the other hand, there is no higher height to which humanity can attain than that occupied by a converted, heaven-inspired praying mother. Kaya po sa lahat po ng mga nanay, na sumusunod sa ating Panginoon at walang tigil na nananalangin po para sa kanilang mga pamilya at minamahal sa buhay, I press, praise the Lord and bless the Lord for your lives. For continual, continuously, faithfully doing your responsibility as mothers, not because you are being forced to, but because you love doing those responsibilities. Amen po ba, moms? Nala, na, nabasa ko rin po itong isang kwento ng isang bata. What my mother taught me. Tuntuwa po ako dito. Sabi niya, My mother taught me religion. When I spilled grape juice on the carpet, she instructed, You better pray, the stain will come out of the carpet. Nakaka-relate po ba tayo, mga kapatid? Sabi ng bata. Another thing, sabi niya, My mother taught me really logic for his decisive words because I said so, that's why. 
Nakaka-relate po yung mga nanay, no? Kahit po yung mga tatay, nakaka-relate dito. Lalo yung mga anak. Next po, sabi niya, My mother taught me foresight. Make sure you wear clean underwear in case you're in an accident. Next po, sabi niya, My mother taught me irony. Keep laughing and I'll give you something to cry about. Tama naman po, no? Pagka yung nanay, pagka napipi ko na, sige, tumawa ka pa. Mamaya, iyak ka na. And then, sabi niya, ganito pa. My mother taught me about stamina. You'll sit there till all that spinach is finished. Tama po. And then, sabi niya again, My mother taught me about weather. It looks as if a tornado swept through your room. Alam niyo, nakaka-relate po ako dito kasi sa bahay, ganyan po. Talaga pong para laging dumaan si Yolanda. And then, sabi niya pa, ganito, My mother taught me the circle of life. Grabe, no? I brought you into this world and I can take you out. And then, sabi niya pa, My mother taught me about behavior modification. Stop acting like your father. Kaling, ano? Amen, fathers. Pasensya na kayo araw ng mga nanay ngayon. Bawi na lang tayo sa Father's Day, ha? But totoo naman yun, right? And then, My mother taught me about envy. There are millions of less fortunate children in this world who don't have a wonderful mom like you do. Kaya, moms, thank you so much. You have really taught us so much. You and I will agree with me, mothers are precious, are a precious gift from God. Amen? Mothers are a precious or are precious gifts from God. Ano ho ba sabi sa Proverbs 18.22? Tingnan niyo po. Men, listen up. Children, listen up. He who finds a wife finds a good thing and obtains favor from the Lord. Amen? Amen, men? Para ayaw niyo pumayag. Ano, tututo. He who finds a wife with a, finds a good thing and obtains favor from the Lord. Kaya, Husbands, men, yung mga asawa niyo babae, that's a favor from you. That's a favor for you from the Lord. Kaya, you always see your wives as, this is God's goodness to me. Amen? Parang ayaw niyo na. And then, sabi uli, Matt, in Proverbs 19.14, again, all of you will agree with me, and this Proverbs, house and wealth are inherited from fathers, but a prudent wife is from the Lord. Ang bahay at yaman ay namamana natin sa mga mugulang, pero mga kapatid, tanda natin ang mabuting asawa. Yan ay galing sa Diyos. Kaya po, mothers are precious gifts from God. Amen? Amen. Alam niyo po, yung Book of Wisdom or Proverbs says, There is a woman whose children rise up and call her blessed, her husband also, and he praises her. Many women have done excellently, but you surpass them all. Yun yung binasa natin sa Proverbs 31, 28 and 29. Meron pong klasing babaeng ganon. Yung kanya pong mga anak tuwing babangon sila all day all, all day the first thing that they do of course is when they pray when after they pray they praise their mothers. And also their husbands. Every morning when you woke up when you after you pray and talk with your God and upon seeing your wife you say I bless the Lord for your life. Yun po yung makikita natin dito sa Proverbs, sa account na to, sa Proverbs 31. So who is this woman? Her name is wife or in a more precise way, mother. And she is a precious gift from God. 
as the next verse reveals. Ano sabi? Charm is deceitful and beauty is vain. But a woman who fears the Lord is to be praised. Men, when you see your wives fears the Lord, it's already a great blessing from God. When you know your wives fears the Lord's the Lord, you know that the Lord's favor is in you. Ang mahirap po kung kayo kinakatakutan ng asawa ninyo. Remember, they should fear first the Lord. And what are the qualities of a mother who is truly a gift from God? Alam niyo po mga kapatid, ito pong Proverbs 31, 10-31. Kung babasahin po natin ito sa original text, this is, this is an alphabet of a woman, womanly excellence. Kaya po, ito po from verses 10 to 31, ito po ay naka-acronym po sa ABCD, sa alphabet po ng Hebrews. Sa Hebrew alphabets. And this wisdom, ito po wisdom na to ay poem in an acrostic in which every each verse begins with the successive letter of the Hebrew alphabet. So, mga kapatid, the, the, the probable intention, kaya po ganito, nilagay ng author ito, is putting this together with the acrostic pattern to show that this woman's character runs the whole range of excellence. So, dito po, dinefine ng author, ano ba yung character ng isang nanay o isang babae na excellent siya in the sight of the Lord. But today, as we continue worshiping our Lord and giving Him the glory and recognizing His goodness and care and love for us, it is also our intention to recognize and honor the lives of the mothers and grandmothers in our means. And there are four of them I'd like to mention this morning and each one beginning with a letter with the word G-I-F-T. This is, ito po yung gusto kong makita natin. First, letter G, first character is about women, about mother's graciousness. A precious gift mother is one who is more concerned with the needs of others than she is of for her own needs. Ang isa pong gracious or precious gift na nanay, mas concerned po siya sa needs ng iba. The needs po ng kanyang mga minamahal, hinuhuli niya po lagi yung sa kanya. She puts her family first. She puts those in need second and herself Last. She is gracious and self-giving not only in the, in, in the words she speak, but also in the deeds she do. Yan po yung gracious na isang mother. Ito po isang character na sinasabi po sa Proverbs 31. Proverbs 31, 14, 15, 27, 21, and 20 says, She is like a merchant ship. A merchant ships. She brings her food from afar. She also rises while it is yet night and provides food for her household and a portion for her maid servants. Can you, be, can you imagine? Kahit po yung mga kasama sa bahay, she took care of them. She, she, she made it a point na pati sila no, na, nabibiyayaan, and she watches over the ways of her household and does not eat the bread of idleness. She is not afraid of snow. For her household, for her household is clothed with scarlet. You scarlet put on in ESV, you think of it as thick, warm clothes. 
She made it a point na yung kanyang buong pamilya, mga kapatid, ay meron pong warmth even during winter time. She extends her hand to the poor. Yes, she reaches out her hands to the needy. She is gracious to her household. She is gracious to her family. She is gracious to the needy. She is a woman of grace, a precious gift from God. Alam niyo po, mga kapatid, ang mga nanay po ba, totoo po yung sinabi ng mga, ma, ng mga lola ko noon, totoo po yung sinasabi ng mga magulang ko noon, sinasabi ng nanay ko, susubo ko na lang, ibibigay ko pa sa inyo. That is the heart of a mother. At yan po ay na-witness ko, at yan po ay na-experience ko. Sometimes po, alam niyo po sa aming mag-asawa, alam niyo naman po mga kapatid na we are just living by faith. Wala na po kaming profession. We have left that life. And yung wife ko po, because of her support to the ministry, she opted not to work and just help me in the ministry. Dumadating po ang point in time sa life namin mag-asawa Hindi ko na lang po pinapakita sa kanya but deep inside naiiyak po ako. You know why? Because minsan po meron po siyang gustong bilin sa sarili niya pero hindi niya po ginagawa. Why? Because sinasabi niya, I know may mga dapat akong unahin. Minsan po mga kapatid, yung kahit po murang-mura na lang, na pwedeng-pwede niyang desisyonan, pagpapaalam niya pa po yun sa akin at sasabi niya, pa, pwede ko pang bilhin ito. And then I would tell her immediately, why do you still ask for my permission? Why? Sabi niya, because pa, I don't have a job and I don't earn anything. Nahihiya ako sa iyo. And I told her, what is mine is yours. So, whatever na gusto mong bilin, na alam mong makakabuti sa'yo, go ahead. Huwag ka lang bibili ng diamond ring, mag-aaway tayong dalawa. I'm just kidding. Ang point ko dito, mga kapatid, is this. Sa mga anak, sa mga bata, I'd like you to understand this. I'd like you to see the heart of your mothers. And I'd like you to see how gracious they are to you. Do I hear amen? At sa mga tatay po, mga kapatid, I'd like you to see the graciousness of your wife to you. Na, ma, na, na madalas sa ating buhay, pasaway tayo, isip bata tayo, they are gracious to us. They are still there and they still keep on loving us and being in support to us. Amen po ba? Amen? Sometimes, and most often times, Men, I'd like you to understand this. Hindi ho tayo maintindihan through, totally ng ating mga asawa. But because they love us so much and they are gracious to us, they accept us and continue to love us for who we are. Amen? Kanin, kagabi po, nag, uh, nagdi-dinner kami ni Elisha and Sister Menchu. Habang kami ay umunguya ng, uh, uh, anong tawag doon? Anong buto ba yun? Dragon, dragon seed ba yun? Squash seed. Yan po ngayon ang trip namin. Eh. Alam niya, napakwento po yung daughter ko. Sabi niya, alam mo na pa, during our time sa uh, classmates ko, nakwento niya, nakwento ko sa kanila, ah, ay nakita nila, yung tatay mo, ganyan pala kayo, nagsosorry siya sa'yo, nagtetext siya. 
Alam niyo, sabi ni Sister Bencho, biro niya agad, bakit sa'yo nagsasorry sa akin, hindi? <laughs> Pero alam ko, nagjo-joke lang yan. Alam ko, nagpapalambing lang si Sister Bencho kasi Mother's Day ngayon. But you see, brothers, men, there are really times that we, we are, it's impossible, tayo po ay incomprehensible men. But praise be to our Lord, our wives still are still there, loving us, continually being faithful to us. Amen po ba, men? You know why? You know why? I strongly believe because they love their God and they love us so much. Second po is intelligence. Another character of a woman or a mother is intelligence. A precious gift mother is not just gracious. She is also intelligent, wise, industrious, She is not she she not only manages her family well but also her finances. In Proverbs 31, 13 and 14, 16 and 9 through 19, 24 to 25. Pansin niyo po doon, she six whole and flocks. Ito po yung mga types of textile, mga kapatid. And willingly works with her hands. She is like the merchant ships. She brings her food from afar. Alam niyo, parang nag naglalakbay, talaga nagtatrabaho, pinaghihirapan niya. Para po maka, maka, makatulong, makakuha, makabigay po ng contribution sa family. She considers a field and buys it from her profits. She plants a vineyard. She girds herself with strength and strengthens her arms. Totoo po yung sinasabi ng misis ko minsan, ang mga nanay daw po bawal magkasakit. Kasi kahit po may sakit sila, kikilos sila. And they'll have to really gird themselves with strength. And strengthen them, their arms. She perceives that her merchandise is good. And her lamp does not go out by night. Grab being foresight. She makes her own thread and weaves. May mga nagtatahi pa bu mga nanay dito? Meron pa ba mga nagtatahe? Alam niyo po yung nagsusulsin pag sira yung t-shirt, sira yung short na anak, alam mo? Nakita ko po ito sa lola ko eh, tsaka sa nanay ko for some time. Some, for, for, for time din po si Sister Menchu, pagka meron po kung kailangan ipatahe, siya po yung nagtatahe. At sinasabi niya, mas magaling pa ito sa makina. Niniwala po ako doon. She she makes linen garments and sells them. She supplies sashes for the merchants. Anong gusto sabihin ng Proverbs dito? Ito pong, ito, ito pong klaseng babae ito ay nag-iisip. Wise po siya. Strength and honor are her clothing. She shall rejoice in time to come. Alam niyo po yung kung titingnan natin yung description dito ng isang babae. In, this is more of 21st century than 8th 8, 8, 8 BC, right? This is a description of a strong, intelligent woman who balances her family and business responsibilities well. Nai-strike niya po yung balance, mga kapatid. She is an accomplished seamstress. Yung seamstress po dito, mga kapatid, yan po ang tawag sa female na tailor. Kasi ang tailor po, panlalaki, right? 
So, seamstress po siya. Chef pa siya. Vineyard keeper pa siya. And fashion designer pa siya. She is a woman of intelligence, a precious gift from God. Next poem character I'd like to share with you is faithfulness. Ano po yung una? Graciousness. The next is intelligence. The, four, the third is faithfulness. A precious gift mother is gracious, intelligent, and faithful. She is faithful to her husband, her family, and her God. Ano sabi sa, yun po yung sinasabi sa Proverbs 31, 10 to 12, 25, and 17 through 30. Who can find an excellent wife? She is far more precious than jewels. Sa ibang rendition po, rubies. Kaya po, dahil dito, the heart of her husband safely trust her. So he will have no lack of gain. She does him good and not evil all the days of her life. Strength and honor are her clothing. She shall rejoice in time to come. She watches over the ways of her household and does not eat the bread of idleness. Charm is deceitful again and beauty is passing, but the woman who fears the Lord shall be. Priest. Mga kapatid, hindi yun ba faithfulness is one of the most important qualities to God? Amen po ba? In fact po, mga kapatid, after all these things, what, matter, what really matters most to our God is faithfulness. Money is nothing to our God. Wealth is nothing to our God. Possessions, they are nothing before our God. Our beauties, our educations, anything that we can claim and we can brag about, whatever accomplishment we, we, we can have and, and, and show it to Him and tell Him of these good things according to us, they are nothing before our God. You know why? Because the only thing that most matter to our God is faithfulness to Him. Inside the church, there is no high nor low. Inside the church, there is no educated or uneducated. Inside the church, there is no beautiful nor handsome or not. Inside the church, what matters most is faithfulness to our Lord. So the greatest word, words anyone could hear from God's lips are well done, good and faithful servant. Amen po ba? These are the greatest words that we can ever hear. At pagharap natin sa Panginoon, mga kapatid, hindi po ba, mga kapatid, ito po ang ating inaabangan? These are the very words that we'd love to hear coming from the very lips of our Lord. It is not our ability that counts with God. But remember, our availability. Because ano po, ang, ano po ang purpose, ano po ang sense ng ability kung hindi mo naman nagagamit at ginagamit? Ano po ang sense and purpose ng ability kung hindi mo naman kino-contribute to the body. So the very first thing that you'd like us to understand is that what counts 
to our God is our availability. Do we use the gifts and abilities we have to faithfully serve God and others? Do we? Ulitin ko po, do we use the gifts and abilities we have faithfully? We have to faithfully serve God and others. So a godly woman is a woman of faithfulness. A precious gift from God. Letter T stands for tenderness. A precious gift mother is tender-hearted, overflowing with love and kindness. She thinks tenderly, speaks tenderly, and acts tenderly. Yung tenderness niya po, describe po ito in the New Testament this way. Love is patient and kind. Love does not envy. It does not boast. It is not proud. It is not rude. Love is not easily provoked. It thinks no evil. It does not rejoice in iniquity but rejoices in the truth. Love bears all things, believes all things, hopes all things, endures all things. Love never fails. In Proverbs 31, 26, it simply says, She opens her mouth with wisdom and her tongue in the law of kindness. Whatever that she opens her mouth for, it, also, it always speaks of love and kindness. And, and, and part na lumalabas po sa kanyang bibig is the very words of God or the very words of God. Mga nanay, gusto ko po kayong tanayin. Every time po bang dinidil ninyo ang inyong mga anak, do you open the Bible in front of them and tell them this is what Bible is saying? When you, when you discuss things with them and you deal something with them, do you show what the Bible says to them? You see, your advice is good. But your advice should always be coming from the Word of God. Hindi ba nasabi ko na sa inyo in the two previous Sundays, the Word of God is our norm, our standard, our principles. It is our guide, our foundation of our lives, the way we think, the way we, we, say, we do things, the way, whatever that we say, the, whatever that we view, whatever that we see in this world should be coming from the Bible. Whatever that we see from each other, we deal it from the Word of God. So, she is a woman of tenderness. Sa lahat po ng mababait po ang kanilang mga nanay, say Amen. Para lilima lang yung mababait ang nanay. Ha? Sa lahat po ng mababait ang nanay, say Amen. amen. Nadagdagan na po, naging anim. Ulitin ko po, sa lahat po na mababait ang nanay, say Amen. 
Sa lahat po ng mababait ang asawa, say amen. amen. So, nakarinig naman po ako ng apat. Sa mga kalalakihan, sa lahat po ng mababait ang inyong mga asawa, babae, say amen. amen. Sa lahat po ng asawa nilang babae, tender, say amen. Hindi ko kayo pinipilit, ha? Kusang loob po dapat siya, mga kapatid. Sabi po ng mga kalalagyan, habang sinasabi lang, Amen. Amen. <laughs> Nangingilo. <laughs> so how should we respond to a precious gift that, that is given to us? Paano ba tayo magre-respond dito? Now we know that we have received a precious gift from God. We should respond this to, to, to our Lord with thanks, thankfulness. Dapat po mabagay magpagpagsalamat po tayo with gratitude in our hearts. First, we thank God for giving the precious gift of mothers. Amen? And also those mothers who have gone to, the, to be with Him. I bless the Lord for the life of my mother. And second, we thank, thank your mother for being a woman of graciousness, intelligence, faithfulness, and tenderness. If she has failed in any of these areas, brothers, youth, forgive her. Forgive her. You don't have a perfect mother. But your mother, I'm telling you, she's doing her best. And if she has excelled, honor her. If she has excelled, honor her. Kids, youth, pag nalam niyo naman nag-excel ang nanay niyo, you honor her, praise her. Go to her and praise her. Ano sabi sa Proverbs 31, 28 and 31? Her children rise up and call her blessed. Her husband also praises her. So give her the fruit of her hands and let her own works praise her in the gates. Yung gates po dito mga kapatid, simply in public. Now, just in case, women, mothers, just in case. Just in case lang po, pwede niyo sabihin. Pastor, I feel so guilty now because I know I am failing in these four characters. I, am, I, I feel somehow guilty. And... Uh, I think I cannot live up to that kind of those kind of character. But I'd like to remind you mothers. If you are about to turn in your resignation as mothers don't. Please don't. Try turning your sorrows and pains to your Father who loves you so much. The God who looked on you with love. He knows your needs, mothers. He knows your weaknesses and He knows also your failings and He still loves you. God's love for you, mothers, is not based upon whether your floors are swept clean and all your children are healthy and clean. God's love for you is based solely on His grace given to you through His Son, Jesus Christ. You see, mother, listen up. Mothers, listen up. You cannot make Him love you more. By trying to be perfect. Ulitin ko po yun. You cannot love Him more 
You cannot make Him love you more by trying to be perfect. And He will not either love you less because you are imperfect. So, mothers, continue to be mothers and continue to be doing so. And God loves you so much. And the Lord will always be with you. Now, I would be negligent and regret it if I concluded this message without mentioning that there is one gift God has given which is even more precious than our mothers. The father's gift of his one and only son. He has given us the best there is. He has given us the best of heaven. He has given us the best gift that we can ever receive in this life. Kaya po, in 2 Corinthians 9.15, ano sabi ni Paul, ganyan na lang ang kanya exhortations, thank be to God for His inexpressible gift. That inexpressible gift, the Lord Jesus Christ. In Romans 6.23, for the wages of sin is death, but the free gift of God is eternal life in Christ Jesus our Lord. In Ephesians 2.8 and 9, for by grace you have been saved through faith. And this is not your own doing. It is the gift of God. Not a result of your works. So that no one may boast. Once again, how should we, how should we receive a gift? Should we go out and work hard for it? And pay for it? No. We should simply... Receive it by faith and with thanksgiving. John 1.12 says, But to all who did receive him, who believe in his name, he gave the right to become children of God. Church, listen up. You can pay for the gift of God's Son. Hindi po natin kayang bayaran yan. All you can do is, is receive Him by faith and then thank God every day for the salvation, forgiveness, and eternal life that are yours in Christ Jesus. Remember Christ and His words means life to us. Life is not life without Christ and His words. We are nothing and have nothing without Him. Before I close this in a prayer, I'd like to ask the team, can we, can we ask for the mothers to please stand up? Mothers and grandmothers in the midst of us, among, please stand up. We'd like to recognize you and honor you as we honor the Lord. The church have prepared simple token for you. Iikot po si Mika, Ate Mika, to give the token to the mother before we pray for them and before we close this in prayer. Please. Mothers would like to again say to you, you are loved by the Lord. We love you in Christ. Pagdamutan niyo na po, mga kapatid. Pag niyo pong itatapon yung balot kasi may diamond po dun sa ilalim. Joke lang po yun.
By the way, mga kapatid, meron po tayong first time attendee and visit to be uh, and then future member of By Grace Christian Fellowship. Yung pong eldest nila Kuya Josh at Claire nandito po si Blair in the midst of us. Praise God. Sa mga asawa po ng babae, ng mga may mga asawa po, I'd like to men, I'd like kaya pwede bang Tabihan niyo yung asawa niyo ngayon and, and lay your hands to them as you join me in prayer. I'd like to ask Sister, Sister Menchus' presence here and my, to join me here in front. Father, uh, men, can we lay our hands? Uh, lagay lang natin yung hands natin sa ating wife and we'll, and we'll just... Praise the Lord for their lives. Pray for them. Let's pray. Father, we praise you and glorify you continually. Thank you for giving us this precious gift, Lord God. This precious gift, Lord God. We know the woman that is standing beside us right now, or beside me right now, or each one of us as men and us, but this is your gift to us. And we thank you for this, Lord God. Lord, iingatan po namin sila. Pinagkatiwala mo po sa amin sila, Panginoon. Mamahalin po namin sila. Katulad po ng pagmamahal ni Kristo sa iyong iglesia, Panginoon. At katulad po ng sinasabi sa Proverbs 31, We will declare and praise her in public, Lord God. We will show her our love because we love you, Lord. We thank you for their lives. Thank you for the word. Thank you for the mothers, Lord God. Thank you, Lord God, for indeed, hindi ka nagkulang sa amin and you know what we truly needed in this life. Marami pong salamat. Once again, asking that you bless each and every one of us spiritually, physically, and materially, Lord. We are your children. Bigay mo po sa amin ang iyong mayamang bendisyon, ang mayamang pag-ibig ng Diyos Ama, ang mayamang grasya ng Panginoong Yesu Kristo, at mayamang pakigipisa ng banal na spirit yung tatlong persona sa iisang Diyos. Mapasa ating ngayong bukas at magpakailan, kailan paman. Amen. Amen. Amen.